What's up everybody, Matt here with MindGap Media and I am super excited to share with you a package that I got in the mail today. Something I have been researching and studying and watching videos about and begging my wife to let me spend the money on. And before we get into that, uh, I'll let you know I'm 31 years old. I've been rollerblading since I have been 7 years old. And so I have skated every brand of rollerblade out there. I've skated K2, I've skated Solomon. I've skated Rems, I've skated Rosies, I've skated USD Throne, I've skated U, uh, USD Carbon Free, I've skated uh, Razors, I've skated uh, Volos, I've skated the Volo Carbons. I had some some fresh BS Brandon Smith Carbon Brown Leather White Soul Plate White Laces. They were sexy. Anyways, so these are the. Uh, 13 year edition Volos. These were what I thought would be my last skate purchase ever. Got these for myself for my 30th birthday. And, uh, you know, I'm just getting old and thought I'd be throwing the towel. So, uh, you know, I went on these real simple, basic, nothing like the TVs or the BSs or the ABs or the AB Golds, if you uh, know what I'm talking about. But, anyways, these are good skates and uh, really just have loved them. But uh, back in sometime last fall, I think it might have been October, Red Bull built what is the world's largest outdoor concrete pump track in the planet. Right up the road. About 10 minutes up the road for me. And uh, they had a big international event. They had folks flying in from everywhere across, across the globe. and They all got together, had a big event, and I had the opportunity to get some shots for Red Bull Media and follow some of the riders in their warm-up event. And uh, here's some clips of that right now. And so that was a really great time. Um, kind of got me excited about the opportunities that training on that thing could do for me. So I've been going there at least once a month uh, since then and trying to get some quality time, some exercise in that pump track. It's got deep berms. I think it's like uh, eight foot berms or something like that. It's really, really big, big turns in that thing. So I... Uh, I live in Northwest Arkansas, which is home to a lot of things. It's home to Walmart, Tyson, J.B. Hunt Headquarters, University of Arkansas, but we also have something here called the Slaughter Pen, and it is where the IMBA, International Mountain Bike Association, held the world championship last year. And uh, Northwest Arkansas is kind of like this hidden gem in the middle of the country. Nobody knows about it. And uh, it's definitely not like a happening skate scene. And Arkansas in general never really has been. So growing up, you know, in high school and stuff like that, in college, rollerblading, I was just always doing it by myself. And uh, kind of got into mountain biking, you know, being that I live in, here in Arkansas and love the heck out of that. Had a nice mountain bike, but I had to sell it. So this is just an opportunity for me to uh, blend those two things that I love together, rollerblading and mountain biking. And I would like to introduce to you, ladies and gentlemen, the Power Slide Next Edge 150 centimeter air tire SUV skate. 
uh, I had to, just right out of the box I'll tell you this thing is well made like I said I have skated every brand of rollerblade out there and the folks at Power Slide have really outdone themselves um, this is a fairly light skate for as large as it is um, it's got an aluminum frame with a Trinity mount system which consists of two bolts in the front of the boot on each side of the frame and then one in the middle of the back and I had an opportunity to slap these things on kind of roll around my house and just out front and I can tell you they're they're really really stable super comfortable uh, let's get into the liner here I'd like to show you all that so this liner is really nice it's got the MyFit heat moldable system you can throw this in your oven warm it up and then throw it over your foot and into the skate if you'd like. It's got a, a neoprene toe, so it's actually got some wiggle room there for you in your foot. Uh, in, the, in the boot here, you've got a toe protector, which is going to be pretty necessary. I feel like on, on some off-road trails, they have an option to do uh, like an exoskeleton style. It's called the Dupe Swift. Uh, that'll probably be my next purchase if these do well for me. But uh, this toe cover is going to be really nice in case you hit some rocks or trees or whatever else you might uh, find on the trails. You've got a 45 degree angle buckle here with a nice ratchet that will close all the way and then it will, will release. And I like also that they put a guide strap um, for, or I'm sorry, a guide loop for the strap so that it feeds in there and you're not fighting it all the time. Uh, laces go pretty high on the boot, which is nice. You don't have to go all the way up. I didn't. Um, buckle's pretty standard. It's still strong. It's not a cheap buckle by any means. It's got a, it's got a spring strap on it, which is nice. The cuff, I feel like, is probably the best thing about this. Um, I've skated a lot of different brands and um, the cuff seems to be the deciding factor in my opinion as to whether or not the skate has stability and flex because those are the two things that you need. Neat little thing here they did is they've got this offset so that you can pull the bolt out and flip that and raise and lower the cuff. So that'll be nice if I find myself wanting to raise that up a little bit. Uh, super excited to get out on the trail with these things. Um, yeah, we're going to warm up with my dog Chase. Uh, he's an 85 pound Belgian Malinois and he goes crazy when he sees these things spinning. So let's cut to some clips of that. Here we go. We're going to warm up tomorrow morning. Later. All right. So it is 24 degrees out. The temperature has dropped. Oh, I'd say 40 degrees since this time yesterday. And, uh, <clears throat> you know, regardless, we're going to go out and give these skates a maiden voyage. I kind of want to take it easy and not do anything crazy on my first go around. So I brought my dog. Uh, his name is Chase. He is a... 85 pound Belgian Malinois <laughs> and he is incredibly excited uh, he's been barking since we pulled out and I'll tell you he's been training with me a little bit on regular roller rollerblades uh, here's a clip of him pulling me around Lake Fayetteville on my regular skates and ever since I saw these skates I knew right away that some outdoor adventures with this animal would be amazing. He pulls me about five miles without stopping and we're heading on out to the National Forest. There's some dirt roads. It's going to be fun because it's been raining for about 24 hours and it's turning over to ice right now and uh, we're going to see how far he can take us. Uh, we just got him some brand new uh, boots for his feet, some rough wear boots with Vibram soles, and I got him a Kong harness.
and so we're gonna give these things a test run and see what we can what kind of fun we can have with him in these new skates so here we go I'm not sure how fast we're going to be going. What was that like? It's one heck of a ride. Yeah? Yeah. Would you highly suggest it to other people? Huh? Would you suggest it to other people oh, to yeah. try? I need two of him. Yeah? He's wearing him out, huh? Wipe out. Oh, look, puppies, and make sure he's okay. We're in his rough wear gear and his Kong harness. There we go. <laughs> that kind of hurt. Yeah? I hurt my hand up a little bit. Can you cut it? I should have been wearing my gloves, but. Can you cut it? Ow. 